Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be talking about what it's like driving a 26 foot box truck, um, non-CDL, uh, what it's like driving it, give you a couple tips on it, and go from there. But before I get started, I'll go ahead and show you a 26 foot Penske truck and a 26 foot U-Haul truck. Now, there's a difference between the two and I will get to that after I show you the clips. Now that you've seen both of the trucks, let's get to the difference between the two trucks. So Penske, which is the yellow truck, sits up higher. The U-Haul sits lower and is made more for a residential use. The Penske, more of a business to business. You know, they sit up high for dock use or, you know, for height. Uh, you can also, the great thing about Penske though, you can get those trucks, uh, rent those with the lift gate or buying with a lift gate, whichever one you choose to do. And that way you have you don't have to worry about going up a steep ramp. Um, now you haul with the trucks in low in the back, uh, the ramp, you know, it's not a steep ramp, it's just a nice little just a nice little height, so you're pretty good to go on that. Um, the U Haul truck will have a short ramp. Penske's gonna have a long ramp because you have to make up for that height difference. All right, so now driving wise, Penske is more fun to drive. Um, the U-Haul, if you noticed it, it was basic, nothing at all, just basic, get in, put it in gear, go. Penske, you got the, the air ride seat, you got the air brakes, you got um, the control setup, cluster dash, looks, you know, at least updated, and it's just a better interior. A little, little more space to me. Uh, but like I said, the U-Haul, straight basic, straight, you in there, drive, that's it. <laughs> uh, if I had to pick which one is easier to drive, uh, I would probably say the U-Haul would be a little bit easier to drive. And I'm thinking maybe because of the view-wise you get, uh, with it send lower to the ground, and just a better view, I guess. You know, a Penske, you know, it's, it's not as difficult to drive, but, you know, you just got to watch out a little bit more. The Penske truck has a diesel engine, which is a lot better than the gas engine that is in the U-Haul truck. U-Haul only rents out gas engine trucks. The Penske, you get the uh, diesel engine. A little bit more pricier for gas, but it does get better fuel mileage. So that's just, you know, also 
and the diesel actually sounds a lot better than the gas you know you might maybe using it for work purposes but you know it's still like the sound of the engine so now the tips on driving both trucks or apply to both trucks is going to be basically make sure when you're driving you want to take your time if you're new to driving take your time all right when you make turns use your mirrors the only way you're going to be successful at driving these trucks if you use your mirrors if you don't use your mirrors you're going to bump into stuff tear stuff down all of that so make sure when you're getting ready to turn when you're getting ready to back up if you're going down the highway you know it don't hurt to glance in the mirror here and there make sure you're in your lane all of that um, when you get ready to turn make wide turns you know make up don't turn as if you're in the car and make sharp turns you want to make wide turns if you're in the turning lane and you got two turning lanes going one way then you want to be in the outside that will give you more clearance to go around cars that are on the opposite side of the road backing up get someone to stand outside and watch um, I've been driving these trucks for a while and I still if I can have someone outside watching when I back up I do that especially if you knew you definitely want to do that because it's easy to take out a mailbox bump into somebody's car I've actually seen one guy take a U-Haul truck he was backing it up small and this wasn't even a big one it was like a probably 16 foot no more than 20 foot and he backed into someone's car and <laughs> you know hey it happens you know so also don't forget height uh you know if you're transitioning from your car and you're driving the truck for a day or two don't forget height clearance you can you know easily go over your height with those trucks so don't forget if you're going into a mcdonald's gas station don't forget about the height of the truck um trying to see if i'm leaving anything else out. those are the basic key points now on the penske truck make sure you use your air brake we're, and on the U-Haul truck, make sure when you park, you use the, it's got like a parking brake that you pull up, old school style. You just pull that up and that makes sure you keep the truck from rolling away on you. Um, also, don't forget those trucks do have a weight limit, so you don't want to pack them out to the brim. Uh, some people have seen, some people overload the trucks and if some places may require you to pull over, you know, at the scale. If you're overweight, that's a ticket. Um, so try to, I know the Penske is like 10,000 pounds. The U-Haul may be 10,000 pounds um, in the back. Not sure, but I know the Penske is. Because anything over the, that, you will have to have a CDL license. So just, you know, food for thought. And other than that, I think I covered all the tips for the truck. Just basically, you know, just getting out there, driving it. If I left anything out, just leave it down in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't want to hold you too long. Thanks for watching. Don't hit, don't forget, excuse me, to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.